What do you do if you missed out on some of the biggest rallies in the stock market such as AI, electric vehicles or you miss Tesla when it was booming or semiconductors. Is that it? Is that your the, the only chance in your life gone? Not really. There's always new things coming and one of the biggest things coming up is quantum computing if you haven't heard of it. So just to start off, I'd like to just say that nothing in this video is financial advice and it's for entertainment purposes only. So I'm pretty sure I've talked about this stock before and the stock I'm going to be talking about is IonQ and this ticker symbol is the same as the name of the company. There is a lot of material to cover, price target, comparing IonQ to its competitors, IonQ's own progress and everything. I'm not going to go into everything in too much detail, I'm going to be focusing more on price targets and why they're justified so the 2024 price target for ion q is around 14.18 dollars and right now it's around uh, nine ten dollars and it has previously reached i think up to 22 or 30 dollars if i remember correctly it could have been even more i'm not sure i mean i'm pretty sure i bought it before like that rally it was uh, actually a tip from someone so shout out to that guy and it went up like i don't know like 60 percent in like a couple weeks and then it went down and i've been sort of i wouldn't really say bag holding i was bag holding for a while but otherwise it's just been like a slight loss here and there so 14 dollar uh price prediction for 2024 means like a 56 percent increase from its current price or a little less than that and this is based on iron q's technological milestones such as remote iron iron entanglement i'm not sure what that is but and growing demand for quantum computing solutions and this uh, price target is also taking into account like market sentiment uh, current bookings market sentiment and current bookings so it doesn't mean necessarily that like they're financial assets are going to grow in this value but there's share price and 2024 is still like very early like we're not really expecting anything crazy to happen with them so they have around a hundred million dollars in current bookings apparently uh, which is of course showing some trust in the brand and showing that they 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 are serious they 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 are an important game player and of course quantum computing in general is still in its early stages so so most companies like ibm and google who are working on quantum computing are pretty much in r d stages and ionq is also in r d stages but they are trying to focus a bit more on commercializing compared to Google and IBM and these others. They actually have some bookings and stuff like that, while Google and IBM not, not so much as far as I know. And I mean, Google and IBM do have like a lot more financial resources that they could leverage to get ahead in this quantum computing race. But of course, they have diverse business models and this is like a small part of their business. Uh, INQ is pretty much fully just focusing on quantum computing and I wouldn't be surprised if one of the bigger companies tries to acquire it later on or does acquire it and I've invested in Google, Microsoft, INQ, like everything pretty much. Uh, not really IBM because I, I don't really have that much faith in IBM's future like I'm not really sure about where it's going right now so I personally have not really invested in it but anyway let's get to 2025 price prediction which is next year which is 20 um, which is 22.13 dollars and that would be around a hundred and forty percent increase from where it is right now so it's expected that they should be moving a bit more towards revenue generating uh, instead of just being R&D focused. They will still be quite R&D focused probably, but just just to move a little like a, a little step further towards generating revenue. And 20, $22 is not even like uh, anything that crazy like it's already been there before and then there is the crazy 2030 price prediction which is like very optimistic projection and very speculative and 
IonQ doesn't have like as much of a foundation as Google or IBM even and stuff like that so that's why you should definitely take this with a pinch of salt but if all goes well according to Benzinga they could have a price prediction of $131.50 by 2030 and I mean usually these estimates would be quite conservative as well so I wouldn't be surprised if it could even be like two or three times that number like I, I'm not trying to like sound crazy but you never know like the market is unpredictable like if if something goes quite mainstream and shows a lot of potential and growth the amount of people who could start buying into it could really drive its price crazy like we've seen with Tesla and Nvidia and the like. I'm not sure if this price is counting even that crazy market behavior but but I don't what I'm trying to say is that I don't think Benzinga would have said oh I, I think Nvidia is gonna become like $800 next year or something like that. So if it even goes to this $131, that's like a 1.4,000% increase almost, which is like 13X or something, your current investment. So these predictions are kind of based on achieving quantum advantage over their competitors and taking uh, and dominating the market. The current quantum computing market is around a couple billion dollars and it's expected by 2030 to be around 65 to like 130 billion from like 65 to like 125 billion dollars which even if IonQ doesn't get the kind of market share it was hoping to get but still gets a decent market share or even stays on its current market share that's already like a huge multiplier and IonQ is trying to commercialize quantum computing to be used in finance pharmaceuticals and like pretty much everything so the the sky's the limit like there's no limit to how big this can potentially get and it's hoping to get uh, government contracts which that would be huge as well and another sector that might be worth investing in would be cybersecurity. I need to do a little more research on cybersecurity stocks and companies but cybersecurity could be uh, a huge thing because when you have something like quantum computing around it makes quantum computing can be used to to hack and break into software of organizations and governments and everything. So as strong as computers will get, that's how strong cybersecurity will have to get as well. So I'm, I need to check who would be leading in cybersecurity. And IonQ is also, I think they've already made uh, partnerships with Microsoft and Amazon and hopefully more enterprise and government contracts to come. Of course, this is a speculative uh, stock. So if you do invest, invest with caution and don't forget to be diversified. I, I as I said, also have invested in Google, Microsoft, Amazon, like whatever could be its competitor sort of, I have some of that as well. But of course, this one I have some higher hopes for it because it's more speculative and has higher growth potential. And that's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment your thoughts below and let me know if you've bought it or if you're planning to buy it or what your thoughts are if I missed anything. It's always good to hear from you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.